would God ask me to deny my nature? And I think that we can all feel this way at times to a certain degree, but for sure I recognize there are people who have struggles that just seem like they're, they're so deep and so much a, a core part of who they are that it almost seems like to do what God's called them to do would be like denying themselves or denying their very nature. So I just want to share a few verses with you that I think might be helpful as you process through this. And first off, it's just to recognize by nature, I'm not in a good place. So my nature is not necessarily something that's trustworthy or something that I want to follow. Think about how after the flood, God said about mankind, and never again will I curse the ground because of humans, even though every inclination of the human heart is evil from childhood. And I sense that as the inclination of my heart, that my heart is not something I should follow, that, that my heart would lead me into selfishness, uh, bitterness, unforgiveness. My heart might even lead me into uh, violence or anger, uh, maybe even murderous things, promiscuity. My heart would take me all kinds of places that I shouldn't go. So our heart's not necessarily something that's good to follow. The path my nature leads me down is actually a path of death. And Jesus said in John 10, 10, the thief comes to steal and to kill and to destroy, but that he came that we might have life and have it to the full. And I think this is important to understand that, that Jesus really loves us and he wants good. He's not trying to deny us from something that is good and life-giving and take that away. He's trying to take something away from us that we think is good and that brings life. And he's trying to give us true, authentic genuine life. You know, I, I have a friend who went through a really hard time that he, he was involved in a sin that was just really destructive. And at the time he kind of thought, ah, it's no big deal. And it's not really hurting anybody and I'm enjoying it. And, and it, it just kind of had a lighthearted view of it, I guess. But he was engaged in the sin for years and years and years. And eventually it caught up to him and it, it just wreaked havoc in his life. It, it took away his wife and his family and a lot of his money and his freedoms and just just his reputation, just all kinds of things were affected. But he didn't see it at the time, right? At, at the time, it just seemed like, oh, there's really no harm in this. And I think that's one of the dangers of, of sin is that, that we don't really see the long-term ramifications of sin. And God does, and so he calls us down a certain path. And we have to kind of trust him that, well, okay, I, I kind of think my way seemed pretty good. But we have to trust, okay, God, I guess your way is actually better than my way. And, and that's the reality is God's way is life-giving. So God's not being mean. He just wants to lead us down a path of life. And in Acts, Jesus, in a vision, said to Paul, he said, I'm sending you to the his own people, the Jewish people, and to the Gentiles, to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to God, so that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. So his heart was to take people out of darkness and into light, out of the bad and into the good. That's his heart. And I like this passage in Deuteronomy because I think sometimes it can feel like, oh, what God's called me to do is just too hard for me. I can't do this. And in Deuteronomy, God had given a bunch of instructions. And at the end of it, he said, you know, what I'm commanding you today is not too difficult for you or beyond your reach. And then a little bit later in the passage, he says, I set before you life and prosperity, death and destruction. And he's, he's calling them into life, right? He's wanting them to choose the path of life and follow him into what he's given them. And Jesus said to his disciples, whoever wants to be my disciple must Deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. And I think just to trust that Jesus, again, is calling us into something good. It's not just picking up your cross, but it's following him. And, and he's like, you know, come follow me, calling you into this relationship with him. And I just want to invite you to do that, to to join him and say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let myself go. I'm going to give up those things that you say are bad, that you say are death, even though I don't understand, and I'm going to entrust my life to you and follow you. And if you take that step of following him, I think you'll find that in the long run, he's right. In the wrong, long run, that that is a path of good and life.